Hello everyone, Fru here. My name is Fru. I'm a sales engineer with Talent. And today we're going to be doing a walkthrough of how to install the Talent Remote Engine on a Linux environment. So how to install the Talent Remote Engine on a Linux environment. So I'm sure we're already familiar with what the Remote Engine is. Uh, it's a Talent platform uh, that allows us to run tasks on premise. So it's something we can download uh, from the Talent Cloud Portal. Uh, and it comes with an installer which we can use for Windows and Linux. But in this session, I want to go through uh, the installation of uh, the remote engine behind the firewall on the Linux environment manually. So this assumes that you have a license to uh, the Talent Cloud. And because we're going to need that to get the keys to pair this uh, so we can actually uh, take jobs on Talent Cloud and run that on the remote engine behind the firewall so we can actually talk to on-premise apps and databases. So this is going to be a quick video uh, and uh, I'm going to go through really quick and maybe skip some of the steps and really focus on just the remote engine part. Now let's switch over uh, to get started on this. We're going to be working within the Talent Cloud environment. So the Talent Cloud environment uh, should look like this once you have access uh, to it. Now, the very first thing we're going to do is add a new remote engine. So once you come into Talent Cloud, you just want to go ahead, click on engines and add a new remote engine. So we'll give this a name, we'll give it a workspace and give it a name. Linux, so kind of a long name, but now I'll give it a description and then we'll go ahead, we we'll click save. So what this does is it creates a new remote engine for us uh, here. Uh, we can use this remote engine to run jobs. But before we do that, we can see that the remote engine that we have is not paired yet. So what I can do is I'll go ahead, uh, not edit, click on that. And I can see the remote engine key. And this is the key that we need so we can pair this remote engine uh, to whatever uh, Linux environment we're run installing and running this on. And so to do that, let's go ahead and download the installer. So this is the remote engine installer that we need. We can install it on Linux uh, or Windows. And it comes with both the zip and uh, a runnable. But for Linux, I'm going to do the jar because we're going to do the installation manually. So I go ahead and download uh, the jar file so we can do the installation manually once the jar downloads uh, we're gonna proceed with that it takes a few minutes here uh, to get that downloaded i'm gonna pause the video and resume once it's done all right so the download is complete and we want to uh, go ahead and uh, look at the file that was just downloaded so this is a tar file so we're gonna unzip that file to see the content of it so i'm using a uh, 7-zip here you can use any uh, unzipping flavor a tool of your flavor so let's go ahead and keep doing that and this is happening locally on my Linux machine so this is all the setup so once we unzip that we can go in and we can see the files that come along with uh, the remote engine ready for installation now we need to do two configurations the first one is uh, telling it the URL to the talent cloud and the second one is actually pairing it with a key so that it knows what TMC, what the Talent Cloud environment we're going to be working with. So let's uh, do the first one. We go into etc. So the first file we need is the org talent ipads rt pairing client. So we're going to go ahead and edit that file. So we want to make sure that it's pairing to, in this case, the US portal uh, for cloud. Now, if you were in a different region, say APAC or Europe, you definitely want to use a different uh, pairing key for that. And I'm going to bring that up in the screen here pretty, really quick. So if you go to the Help uh, Talent website, you can see the US URL. You can see that for Europe and that for APAC. So in this case for the US, I'm simply using that. You can just always confirm that you have the right thing. All right, so I have that, which is the first thing. The next thing we want to check is the pairing pre-authorization key so we're gonna go ahead and edit this file again on the etc pairing pre-auth authorized key so once we edit that we're gonna make some changes in there so if you remember 
back in studio we created uh, this uh, remote engine and we got this key so we need that key to put in there and then we need one more thing so we're gonna go back again to studio sorry to the TMC and we want to copy this the name of the remote engine we're working with uh, we can put there I don't think this makes a difference but and then we can put a description I really don't have a description advisable to always have a description so someone knows what exactly is going on so this is what we um, let me close everything so this is the setup that we need and I've done this all locally on my uh, Windows machine and I need to deploy this on the remote engine which is running on an EC2 instance in AWS so what does that look like so this is my EC2 instance I have it running already it's just a simple AMI I fired up and this is on uh, AWS on Amazon Web Services so uh, I'm gonna shut this down right after this uh, demonstration but uh, this is just for demonstration sake so once you have it up and running you configure it fire it off spin it up and you have it running you want to set up your um, security groups or VPC whatever you need uh, for your organizational requirements and have all that ready to go so the next thing that we need to do is to connect to this instance copy the files that we have over and then actually start the remote engine so it can be paired to the talent cloud I'm gonna use two things one I'll be using Paddy to connect to that uh, instance so Paddy gets me into the session and number two I would be using uh, win SCP to actually copy the files that we uh, downloaded over into into uh, the EC2 instance so we're gonna go ahead browse into my uh, AWS remote engines and this is the remote engine that we're working with 215.120 so we go in there let me rename this all right so it will allow me to rename that here I might want to do that make sure that I close my files and then I just want to rename it so the name doesn't conflict with uh, another folder that I had in there already all right so that's been renamed so if you go back into my putty environment so let's just go back one level up go in so this is the demo folder that we want to copy over into uh, the talent uh, into the EC2 uh, machine and this Linux machine doesn't have to be on EC2 it could be a Linux machine that's anywhere within your environment in this case I'm just demonstrating that on how we can do it with an EC2 running on on AWS getting some errors here let me about that and make sure that we continue re -login. sometimes signs signs you out so we'll just do a copy so it takes a few minutes I'm gonna pause the video and resume when the copy uh, is complete okay so the copy has been successfully completed and we can see the files available on the EC2 instance which we're gonna be working with so let's switch back to Putty and uh, log into the Putty session so we can actually start the scripts uh, to get it paired with the talent cloud environment so party comes up we can uh, oh we can all see my screen here do a simple ls we can see the folders uh, that, that we're going to be working with so I want to cd into the talent remote engine uh, folder or uh, the demo folder that we just created so ls we can see the files now uh, we can go ahead and uh, execute the scripts which are uh, in the bin directory so you can see the scripts here for uh, the stat uh, script a script for status a script for studying and it's both for Linux SH and for Windows bad but of course when Linux environment we're going to be using the SH ones now you might try to run the script and you run into an error so basically we do 
status you see access denied so uh, in this case we need to go back and give it access I'm just gonna really open this white you know in your case you might not want to do what I'm doing here but this is just for demonstration purposes so I'm gonna do a ch mode dash r I'll give it a 777 this is really not advisable in a production environment you want to maybe tone it down with the 755 or 775 or something like that uh, depending on what you need but I just need to be able to execute those scripts so I'll just do a 777 on this directory so everything now is wide open uh, for me so let's go down into the bin ls and we can do status so this is the status of the remote engine uh, the container is now running so which makes sense so we want to do start and do a status again now we see it as running so the remote engine that we brought in here is running and because we've configured everything already and paired it if you remember what we did where we configured uh, that remote engine let me just bring that up here really quick so let's go It is see if you remember we uh, configured it and we paid the key over to uh, this so this should be talking to the talent cloud uh, environment so let's bring up management console we go back we check remote engines and you can see the remote engine now is paired so before this was not paired so here we have it as paired and now this is really how easy it is we can use this we can go ahead and use this remote engine to uh, execute the uh, jobs and execute workflows so I go into operations I had a couple of failures here I'm gonna take one of those jobs view the task detail so this is the job right as a matter of fact let me uh, just do something a little bit different before running this job I'm gonna do an edit for this job continue and then it's all running with a cloud engine I'm gonna run it with the remote engine we just created so talent demo remote engine so this is what we just created on Linux so go live on that so that job now should be using the remote engine that I uh, just created on the Linux environment and the job is running so you can see success so if I do a run again on that particular job we should see some success because it's using the remote engine uh, that we just created and you can create as many of these remote engines as you want you can see it took uh, literally less than uh, about 10 minutes and most of that time was just downloading uh, the, the files and the binaries uh, but apart from that it's really easy uh, to set that up and there are instructions on the talent website that we can follow step by step uh, for installing the remote engine there are instructions for doing that automatically and what I just did was instructions for installing the remote engine manually uh, configuring the files that we just did and how to pair the remote engine you can get instructions of for pairing the remote engine uh, which we just did as well uh, in this video and if you scroll down there are also instructions for uh, uh, doing the remote engine with cloud formation or doing the remote engine from the uh, AWS marketplace uh, that one even makes this a lot easier and I might uh, have that in a separate video but I hope this helps uh, this is a quick video to show us how uh, to get a remote engine from talent cloud uh, on, from a Linux environment uh, spin up an instance uh, copy the remote engine over there and be able to pair it so that our jobs can run using this environment uh, and one thing that you always want to make sure in this case is just make sure that we have Java on the machine so that's really uh, one of the requirements and if there are any other dependencies that you need here you can always install that on that remote engine all right so this has been through a sales engineer with talent if there are any questions please leave them in the comments and i will be sure to respond to those thank you for the time and thank you for watching